All righty, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode, another opening. If you can't guess, we're gonna be opening Pokemon cards, and uh, I have kind of a mixed bag today. And this is going to be my probably final opening, but it's also gonna be my biggest opening. I've got some really good treats for you here. I am back in America. I'm no longer in Japan. Sad face. Uh, Pokemon cards in Japan were super cheap. I was getting them for like 45 bucks when I was there at first. But today I'm going to be opening a whole booster box of Evolving Skies. But that's not all I'm going to be opening. Ooh, I just knocked my Pokeball there a little bit. I'm also going to be opening a vintage Japanese Jungle Booster Pack. They are not first edition. I'm also going to be opening a vintage uh, Rocket Gang Japanese pack or a Team Rocket Booster Pack is what this would be the equivalent of in the English set and a Neo Genesis Booster Pack. This one I'm really excited for. Um, this whole opening probably cost me close to a thousand dollars in total. Um, and I was going to go ahead and open a Japanese booster box of Sun and Moon Remix Bout, but I couldn't help myself. Um, I was also going to do a pack of Shiny Star V and a pack of uh, Legendary Pulse. Like I said, I couldn't help myself, so I'll go ahead and show off the pulls that I got from those. Ampharos V, Cramorant V, I got the Alolan Persian GX, got Piplup and Blastoise GX, Venusaur and Snivy, or Snivy and Venusaur GX, and I got a Trainer Gold, and then the big boy. This was the best pull I got out of everything. This came out of the Shiny Star V pack. Um, Lucky I got it because it basically saved the entire opening. Um, everything else I thought was kind of garbage, but this made it all worth it. This card goes for about 40 bucks right now, even on the uh, decline of the whole Pokemon hype train. This still goes for about 40 bucks. This is Eternatus V Gold Secret Rare, and it is really cool looking. It's in really good condition. It came right out of the pack and went straight into a sleeve, as do all of my cards. Anyways, let me go ahead and pick all those up and put those off to the side. And let's go ahead and get into some evolving skies. We're going to go ahead and start with the booster box. I did put it in an acrylic case just for show, really. But it was cool. I thought it was cool. So let's go ahead and start this opening. So you can see I paid, I kind of paid an upscale price for it, 150. I've seen these boxes go for like 110 to 120, but uh, I got this for 150. It was kind of last minute and sorry, I'm gonna have to take this off camera to open it. Ah, there we go, I got it. I don't know why I always struggle when opening this stuff. Alrighty. Here we go. I'm actually gonna set this off to the side. I know that people like to generally look at the booster box during these openings, but I don't really have enough room on my desk. My desk isn't super huge. Um, but cards we're looking for in this are basically any alternative rare or any full art really i want the suicune v full art suicune is one of my favorite pokemon and um yeah i just i think that would be really cool now i don't really remember the card trick for this i'll go ahead and give you the code card there's that Beep. uh and i think it's three we'll try three should be an energy. Nope. Okay, we'll do one more. Yep. So it's four. Four is the card trick. Ice cube. Got skip plume. Elemental badge. Teddy Ursa. Aino. Vivas. Hoppip. Hitmonchan. 
Digging Gloves Trainer is the reverse. And a Sharpedo as the rare. Man. Not very good luck on the first pack, but we're only one pack in. I am going to start going a little bit faster through this, so that way we can get to the vintage packs. Oh, I just showed you the back of the code card. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry, but it's green. Oh, and there's the code. Also, sorry for the uh, poor quality camera. I'm actually trying a USB camera uh, that I'm hooking up to my PC other than a actual like camera on my phone camera on my phone uh, my phone was getting pretty full and it's evil okay that off to the side but my camera was getting full on my phone my storage and uh, I just didn't want to deal with having to delete the videos every time after making them That, and I haven't posted a whole lot of videos because I've been moving. I went from Japan, and now I'm back home in America. So, yeah. Lots of fun there. I also have a child on the way, which is fun. Ooh, a reverse Hollow Kirim. That's cool. And an Altaria as the rare. So I've been a little busy. I have been just a little busy these past couple of months. Found out the day right before Father's Day I was gonna have a kid and I was gonna be a dad. So it's been fun, you know, and I haven't really had a whole lot of money to spend on cards and hobbies and stuff like that. I've been Focusing on more important things in life. Reverse Hollow Dream Ball. And, ooh, our first Hollow is a Jump Pluff. First Hollow. I think that's our first Hollow. I'm pretty sure that's our first Hollow. We're like, what, four, three, four packs in? Alrighty. Like I said, I'm going to try and do these a little bit faster. They're not too fast, I'm not sure. This is a little bit of an like older sun and moon set i guess you could say that or not sun and moon sword and shield it's not really even that old it came out just a couple of months ago but uh this is like five sets in front of this now with brilliant star or whatever that new set is i did not open battle styles i did not open a um ooh raichu hollow uh, I did not open Battle Styles. I did not open Fusion Strike. Uh, no cards in there really interested me. Um, Mew. Yeah, he's cool, but... He's not really one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, my little brother will probably hear that and be like, Oh, yeah, well... Shut up, because... <laughs> You pulled two gold secret rares, or gold Mews in the celebration set, this one right here. I pulled two gold Mews. He was not too happy about that, because it was like my first booster, or my first ETB. I got a gold Mew, and then my second one, I pulled another one. Still no Charizard out of there. Hey, there's Pikachu. But still no Charizard out of that set. I wanted a Charizard, but I, I just couldn't do it tried i have already pulled the rayquaza v alternate art out of this set i did that in my first booster box so you know i've still been opening some pokemon cards just not quite to this extent like maybe a hundred bucks here or there like a booster box or an etb here and there this is like a thousand dollars worth of stuff that hypno is pretty cool um and it's it's crazy like i said this is going to be my last opening for a while Ooh, leafy on v that is cool i'm gonna go ahead and set that off to the side in its own pile our first pole i'll probably sleeve it later i like all the evolutions too
There's a code card. Uh, electricity. Dang. Dark. It was dark energy. Doing that whole Lee and Hart guess the energy thing. It's fun to do every once in a while, but I don't try and do it every time. The bass. And a wishy washy. It's rare. Dang. Not a whole lot of luck so far. Got a leafy on V, which was pretty cool, but no, no V Max or anything really. But we're not even halfway through the box yet. I am trying to go through these a little bit faster. There's the code card. I'm going to try and not talk too, too much throughout this entire video whole beginning was just kind of like giving updates and all that letting you know what we're doing today swap blue c dot blue bat evil is the reverse hey our second hollow zygarde all right come on Rayquaza. you got me oh There is the code card. I always use the code card to kind of center myself in the camera before I start opening. We got fire, digging gloves, stormy mountain, shell gun, uli pup, emolga. I like emolga. It's cute. I got a spirit mask and a flapple. All right, there is the code card. Evil, uh, Hippopotapotapis, Tentacruel, and another Kiram Hollow. Nice. Nice. Moistness. Keep it going. I am probably going to do this in order. I'm going to do Evolving Skies, the whole booster box first, and then I will do the vintage packs. And that way I can kind of break down the video, so that way if you want to, you can just skip to the end and watch the vintage packs. Or if you want to see me open this whole box, you can. I like this music going on in the background. Code card. Cool, you know, Rebombe, and a Sylveon V. That is a pretty card. That's very nice. Got two of the evolutions now. I don't think I pulled any of the evolutions before. Uh, that may not be true. I think I pulled a Vaporeon and a Jolteon out of this set before. There's a code. Oh, I almost completely ruined that. I didn't see anything though. Sure wouldn't be surprised. I've heard a lot of these uh, Evolving Skies boxes are kind of hit or miss. Like every single one. You either get something great or you get absolutely nothing. We are about halfway through the pack and we've gotten two V's. 
a Sylveon and a Leafeon V so far. Oh, I see something shiny. I'm sorry. Could this be it? Could this be the pack? Leaf Energy. Grafty. Ursaring. Crystal Cave. Cutiefly. Hit my chan. Lotan. Sableye. Teddy Ursa. Regieleki. Hey, and a Gordy Full Art Trainer. Look at that. Oh yeah, this kid looks like me when I was in high school. In grade school. Long hair, dark clothes. It's in good condition though. The centering is pretty good. It is a little off left to right. No white marks though. That's some really good condition. I'll give that probably 9.5. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve it real quick. Put that up there. It's a little hard to stand these up. There we go. Yeah, it's a little hard to stand these up. I'll go ahead and do that with these two. But uh, I have a glass uh, desktop, so it's uh, hard to do the whole standing up cards and stuff. There we go, our first real big pull out of the Evolving Sky the Future Box. And we're still not even halfway. Yeesh. I forgot to make this centered. I, I was a little excited over my full art trainer that I just pulled. Bergmite, Ablog, Eldegoss Hollow. I think Eldegoss is kind of a and <clears throat> I don't know. I don't. I'm brain farting right now, but like an underrated Pokemon. I think Eldegoss is cool. It's got a cool name. It looks cool. I think people just hate on Leaf energy Pokemon hmm. all right we got fighting energy bull door straggy lit Leo Eevee Fletch Cinder evil as the rare trail's gone cold now Oh, we know we got a Dweeble. There's the code. I'm guessing there's nothing in this pack. That's just my guess. Copycat. Dweeble. Copycat's that card that describes every YouTuber out there who saw Leon Hart blow up. And that includes me. <laughs> To an extent, I'm not doing this to try and get popular. I'm pretty sure most people who do this aren't opening cards just to try and blow up, kind of like Leonhardt did. Um, I'm doing this because, yeah, I have, I have friends and family who like to see openings, and so I figured it'd be a cool idea to make YouTube videos for them. And for you guys. For the peeps just randomly scrolling through YouTube. And to a reverse haul, that's dope. Hey, and a Requaza V. It is not the full art, but it is a V. Always happy to see Requaza. Requaza is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. As well as Entei, and I like a lot of the Pokemon. Especially a lot of the older Pokemon. I don't know why. Code card. Three, four. 
Flip. Fighting energy. Skip loom. Switch under. Shipping center. And a seismitoad. You know, as much as I personally don't really enjoy watching Leonhardt's channel, you gotta admit his production quality is really good. For I think it's just him doing it all. But his production quality is really good. He's got a really good camera. He's got everything set up just the way he wants it. And it's all very nice and professional looking. Unlike mine where it's just, you know, 460p camera. And uh, shitty mic. But I just don't. <gasps> no way! Oh my god! That is awesome! Woo! Sorry if I just blew up people's ears, but that is awesome. Rayquaza V Max Rainbow Rare. Let's go! I am putting this in a sleeve. And a topper right now. That is crazy. Man. Oh, there goes Rayquaza V. Rayquaza V is like, I can't stand up to that. Oh, yeah. See, this is where it gets difficult. I guess I should have maybe put, like, my mouse pad under everything. Like, under this section. Oh, I got a little speck of dust there. But, that way the cards could actually stand up there. Oh, I just ripped the front of that open. That is awesome. I know my little brother's gonna watch this and flip out. Hopefully. I always like <clears throat> seeing people's reactions to some of these crazy pulls. I think I'm kind of cynical too, because I kind of like making people upset with my pulls. Oh my god, and a Medichan. Or Medicham V full art. It just pulls back to back. We've got two. This is crazy. Two full arts and a hyper or a, yeah, hyper rare. My lord. I'm gonna put this in a topper as well. I don't really put trainers in toppers. I guess I I could. I'll put him in a topper later. He's already back there. He's gonna hide back there. We're completely out of room to show all of the pulls that we've gotten so far. This is crazy! This second half of the box is already just... <sighs> blowing me away. Oh, and there goes the Rekwaza V again. Unbelievable. I honestly didn't think I was going to pull anything out of this booster box. After that first half, I was like, all right, yeah, let's go ahead and get through this. Like, I'm not getting anything. This is a dud booster box. And then I went and pulled something like a rainbow. I mean, craziness. Stoutland. Oh, I'm going to need a new pile for my Pokemon cards. Absolute insanity. Right here. I do feel a little bad because I was supposed to open this up in front of a bunch of people. 
Um, <clears throat> but I just couldn't help myself. I could not help myself. I was going to do it in two days from now, but I could not help myself, guys. It was just sitting on my desk, and it was just calling to me. Open us. Open us. Please. So, yeah, I went ahead and I uh, <laughs> opened it. Oh, man. Craziness. I know it's not the alternate art VMAX, but this is still definitely one of the chase cards at Rayquaza. Oh, man. Got my heart pumping. Now I'm fat. So, getting my heart pumping is not really a good thing right now. Getting my heart kind of pumping is like a good thing. That way, once I lose a little bit of weight, which is my New Year's resolution, which is about the time this is being recorded. After I lose a little bit of weight, then get my heart pumping. Alright, we're getting pretty close to the end of this booster box, though. Either way, I'm happy. This was an awesome booster box. Could not be happier. This is probably the most exciting booster box that I've opened of Evolving Skies. The one where I got the Alt Art Rayquaza V. It was like the very last pack had the alternate art in it. Everything else, literally nothing. So, this is awesome. Uh, the first time I opened Evolving Skies, both the booster boxes I did open were the first wave. So maybe they kind of tweaked the pull rates on the second wave. I don't know. I, I haven't really done a whole lot of research. But it seems like it. I had to guess, just from the pulls I've had in this box so far. There's the code. And fire. Ah, oh, dang. Exact opposite. A little bad. Leo. Teddy Ursa. Oh, oh. Boy Catcher. Hey, and an Espeon V. Let's go. Getting all the evolution cards today. It's not the VMAX all arts or anything. Espeon V is still really cool though. Happy to get that card. I'll take it. Uh, I'm probably not going to put any prices up for any of these cards because the prices are changing pretty drastically right now from what I've seen. So I'm just going to, you know, and it's not really about the money. It's about just pulling cool shit, collecting them. Gotta catch them all, guys. Gotta catch them all. Lilligant and Drampa, which is a sick art. I know that's kind of hard to see because of my stupid camera. But hopefully you can see that Rayquaza VMAX there. Rainbow Rare. Alright. Hop it would give us luck. Hop it would give us luck. Talking like a barbarian. Savage. Praise the Hopip. There he is. Hopip. Give us luck. Please. Love disc into. Hey, a Drake result. 
V full art. This is crazy. We've already gotten two full art, or this is our third because we had the trainer full art, trainer full art, two Pokemon full arts, and then a Rayquaza V Max Rainbow Rare, as well as a bunch of V's. This has got to be the craziest booster box out there. And we still have some packs to go. We can still pull an alternate art if we're extremely lucky. Oh no, everything's starting to slide. Yeah, I may have to figure out something else to do with the, uh, the pulls here. I'll probably set them aside once I get done opening this entire booster box. I'll go through them for y'all and set them aside. There's the code. Or is the card trick? Hello, Tad. Save a lie. Oh, Teddy Ursa. Shell gone. And a Reggie Alecki. This gotta be the best booster box of Evolving Skies ever. This is God Box, not God Back. God Box. Forward, front, and flip. It was fighting energy. You're playing the guessing game. Well, let me know if you got it right there. If you got the fighting energy after the Drake result. Whoops. Wow, about that. Rescue Carrier. And a Gorgeist. Let's just take a second to appreciate that music in the background. That's nice. I like the lo fi remixes. There's the code. Fire energy. And pull. Lit Leo. Eevee. Shopping center. And Ampharos. Give me a sec. Sorry, I do tend to smoke. I'm not really smoke, but vape. Anyways, let's get back into these packs. I only got four packs left. This is the fourth. There's the code. Oh, saw something shiny, guys. Okay, starting off the Psychic Energy, Gold Duck, Boost Shake, Ribombe, Bagon, Lit Leo, Lotad, Teddy Ursa, and a Jolteon VMAX. There we go. There we go. Still getting pulls out here. This... Booster box is just crazy. All right, so we have these last three packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, what, what packs do we have left? You know what, I'm gonna start with the Sylveon, or, and then we're gonna go to Umbreon, and then we're gonna open Requaza pack last. So Sylveon, here we go. There's the code card. Here we go. Pikachu. C dot. 
I haven't seen Hot Dip in a while. And a Dialga Hollow. That's the first time I've seen that card in this set. Okay. On to Umbreon. Will Umbreon give us some luck? Well, if we see a Hop Dip in there, then we know. Hop Dip gives us the luck. There's the code card. Steel Energy. Gossifleur. Fletchling. Mareep. And a Noivern V. Alrighty. Bunch of pulls this box. A lot of them, granted, aren't that crazy, but we've had some crazy pulls out of here. Three full arts and a Rayquaza VMAX Rainbow Rare. Insane. You know, I, I kind of, I'm really happy because when I went to the card shop, which is where I got this box, um, the guy there asked me, he's like, do you want the box on top or on the bottom? He, um, I was like, yeah, go ahead and give me the one that's on top. Because they, they were sitting on top of each other. I was like, yeah, just give me the one on top, you know, it's whatever. I feel good about the top one. I was like, okay. And, yeah. Worked out for me, I guess. I watched the other one had like a Rapaza VMAX alternate art or something. But, we'll probably never know. Gilgaland. Smeargle is our final rare of Evolving Skies. Guys, what a crazy, crazy booster box. Oh, as I just completely let everything fall here. So let's go over some of these pulls here. We'll go through the Vs and Vmaxes first. So we got Noivern, Jolteon V, Espeon V, Rayquaza V, Sylveon V, and a Leafeon V. Put those in order and set these off to the side and you know what? i'm also going to sleep this full art trainer but god i hope i have enough toppers for this i did not think we were going to use this many toppers <laughs> today anyways starting off with the biggest pull so far that Rayquaza VMAX Hyper Rare. That was insane. That completely caught me off guard. Had no clue. But yeah. There's that. Then we got the Dracozult V Full Art. Look at that. Set that off to the side. I'll leave the, the Rayquaza up there. Then we got a Metacham V Full Art. And then we got a Gordy Full Art Trainer card. Guys, the pulls. And we're not even on the vintage packs yet. But we are going to go ahead and get into them um, here in just a little bit. I'm going to get a drink of water real quick before we jump into these. But we're going to start um, basically in chronological order with Jungle, which is the oldest set out of these packs and then rocket which is the second oldest pack and neo genesis which is the third and newest pack out of this set uh as you can see this pack got a little crumpled there it kind of got um crumpled in the mail i think the cards are still okay but we'll see when we open it it wasn't the person who sold the pack it wasn't their fault at all um in fact they actually wanted me to send it back and then they, would, they were going to send me another pack. Um, this was just unfortunate uh, things happening to it in the mail. But we're going to open it and we're going to see what's inside. Like I said, let me get a drink of water real quick and then I'll, I'll be right back. And let me center this real quick. This is going to drive me nuts. No, don't fall. There we go.
Do a little baby boo. All right, and this is where the jump cut's gonna be. I'm gonna put my hands there to signal that this is where I want the jump cut to be. All right, let's get into some Pokemon Jungle. This is not a first edition, but it is a jungle. And I gotta say, look at the condition of the pack here. It is immaculate. You can't even see where it goes in there. Like, Oh, yeah, it's still factory glued, like... Oh, yeah. It's in perfect condition. No resealing. No signs of tampering. Not a single problem with this pack whatsoever. It is in flawless condition. Oh, man. I, I almost don't even want to open this normally. I may have to go get some scissors and cut this stem off here. Yeah, let me go do that real quick. Alright, we're back. We have some scissors, or handy dandy scissors. What is with this dust? Is that on the underside? I don't know. Oh, I think it's just reflections. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get into this. I also don't want to cut the cards. This always makes me nervous when I see people doing this. Okay. Okay. Then, okay. So if I do this right, pretty sure it's one card to the front, or one card from the front to the back. Move those off to the side. All right, starting off with a Rapidash into a Weeping Bell. Taurus, Goldene, Oddish, Bellsprout, Jigglypuff, these are guaranteed a hollow, Eevee, and I think the next card is a hollow, Eevee's big, I might have to sleep that, oh, and the Pikachu, yeah, already starting off good, the next card is the hollow, though, Let's go! Snorlax holographic, and look at that. I will say there is a little bit of a bend in there, but once I put it in the topper, it'll be fine. That is amazing. I don't see any swirls in there. Maybe a little one right down in there, if you can see it. Maybe just a tiny, tiny one. That is beautiful, though. Centering looks good. Yeah, it it looks good. Wow. I cannot believe we just pulled a Snorlax. I'm looking at the condition of the card. It does look like it's a little off left to right now that I'm looking at it on the back. It's very close, though. It's really close. That's probably a 10 right there. Oh, I cannot believe... We just pulled a Snorlax. Actually, it almost looks like... You see that on his tummy there? Probably not. There's like a little speck of something right there. Oh no, that's just... That's actually... They're like little tiny lines on his stomach. I thought... It was like printed wrong or something, but beautiful card let's go slide it on into that sleeve gently tap it down big money oh no and there goes Snorlax laying down on the job as always 
I cannot believe. I'm actually like kind of shaken from that. Uh, let me put this Pikachu and Eevee in a sleeve as well. That's funny though. All the other cards are perfectly straight. Nothing at all wrong with them. But I guess maybe the uh, Snorlax kind of been like that because it was uh, hollow. I think hollow foil kind of makes it bend like that. Oh, big, big first pack. But let's go ahead and jump right into Team Rocket. I know this is kind of a long video, but this is big. All right. Some vintage packs right here. These are the first, this is the first time I'm opening vintage packs besides when I was a kid okay I didn't didn't miss any cards yeah the cards look okay oh no nope, not that one take this one put it in the back cards look okay this was that team rocket pack oh there we go starting off with a banger got Charmeleon or is this Charmander this is Charmander Charmeleon is the evolution of Charmander. Starting off big, though. Ratata. Jolteon. What? That's not my rare, is it? I hope not. Dark Jolteon, though. That's awesome. Diglett. Energy. Imposter Professor Oak. Ponyta. Hey, to go along with our Rapidash. Psyduck. Ooh, Dark Primate! Uh, I'm just happy because my little brother loves this card, so he's going to love this. A Dark Primate. The art in this set is sick. I love this set. It's awesome. I love that they kind of put a spin on Pokemon a little bit with the dark and light and everything. And Yeah, I love this. All right, I think this is the hollow actually right here. Ooh. No way! Oh god, a dark Blastoise! No way! That is insane! A dark Blastoise? Are you kidding me? A Snorlax and a dark Blastoise? The only thing better than this would be a dark Charizard. Oh man, you can see there are kind of swirls here on the left side, a really wide one. I wouldn't really call them swirls. There's one there at the top that's real small. Oh, and there's one at the top there. Look at that. Beautiful card. What a beautiful card. Centering looks absolutely perfect. It does look a little off from top to bottom. It does have that curve in it. Same with the Snorlax. Or, yeah, the Snorlax. I don't see any whitening on it. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Go to the back. I don't see any whitening. Oh, actually, I do. I see a tiny little... I find her just about fell over there. God scared the crap out of me got them dad reflexes coming in but there is a tiny little speck of whitening there in the bottom so i'd say this is probably a 9.5 probably a 9.5 blastoise but still an amazing pull i am in shock right now how crazy has this been oh that sleeves a little off i'm gonna get a different one there we go right in I'm amazed. I am just amazed. We pulled some of the best cards. Just off one pack. That's awesome. Let's go. 
Dark Blastoise, Snorlax, Rayquaza, Hyper Rare. Alright, going on to Neo Genesis. I don't really know what I want from this set. I know I like the Typhlosion that's in this set. There are two different arts. I would be happy with either one. Let's see what we get. Let me pop this open. Before I reveal everything, let me remember to do this. Cards are in great condition as well. Nope, not off the back, off the front. Okay. Starting off with energy. Put these off to the side as well. Energy. Trainer. Another trainer. That's cute. Cyndaquil. Let's go. One of the starters. Hop it. Hop it will give us luck. Hop it will give us the luck. Fanny or Fanfy. Gligar. Mareep. I think, no, we got another card. Oh, dang. All right, here we go. This is the hollow. This is the rare. And a Skarmory? Skarmory hollow. Not quite as insane as the other two, but that is still awesome. That's weird. It's actually really weird. I wonder if this is a misprint or if that's how it's supposed to be because it, you can see there's no hollow pattern here or here in these dark spaces. It's incredibly weird, but you know, oh well, that's still a pretty cool card. I will still sleeve this Skarmory. And I'll put it in a top or two. So Opip did not really give us the luck there on that last pack, but we still had some insane pulls. Let's go through all the big ones here. So we had Skarmory, Hollow. Then we had our Dark Blastoise Hollow. Absolutely insane. Our Snorlax Hollow. And our Rayquaza VMAX Hyper Rare. Absolutely insane pulls. And then I'll show you. We also got a Pikachu, an Eevee. We had a Charmander in here somewhere. Oh, we had a Cyndaquil, which I'm going to pull out. And I'm going to sleeve that as well. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sleeve this one as well. A Dark Jolteon. There's the Charmander. I believe that was all. Oh, and a Rap Dash. I'm also going to sleeve that because that is just a beautiful card. I got that Dark Primate for my little brother. Absolutely awesome. And we'll go through some of the other pulls that we got. Just one big recap here at the end. We got a Jolteon V Max. We got a Noivern V. We got a Leafeon V. We got a Sylveon V. Rayquaza V. Espeon V. Dracozolt V Full Art. A Metacham V Full Art. And a Gordy Trainer Full Art. Absolutely insane. I'm just like emotionally exhausted after all of that excitement from the Blastoise, the Snorlax, the everything. Everything was so much fun. Thank you so much for everybody who sent me the packs that I bought them from. They were all in great condition. Um, even the Team Rocket pack, the cards were still in really good condition uh, despite the shipping uh, mishap. Again, it wasn't his fault. 
it wasn't the the seller's fault who sent me the pack it was just an unfortunate situation again they did try to resolve the issue which i really appreciated but i said i'm okay i'll just take the pack um and that is why i'm able to put out this video when i am instead of having to wait another two weeks or so but anyways thank you so much everybody and i will see you all in the next video Whenever that might be, again, I'm going to be busy. This is going to be my last opening for a really long time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. This has been crazy fun. Thank you again. Love y'all. Bye-bye.